Now the land is bare and brown And the wind blows empty across the plains I have walked these plains for the whole memory of my soul it was something initially dreamed up by John Sheedy, um, who runs Barking Gecko Theatre Company in WA. And yeah, he ended up getting um, Sandra Willis from Opera Australia on board, and then Lyndon Terracini, and, uh, and yeah, quite early on they asked me if I'd like to write the music. That was about two and a half years ago. All of the characters are animals, and I think, in my mind, you know, this is for all ages is something that, that young kids can access but older people will get something out of as well. Um, it's not a patronising children's show, you know, there are some dark, sinister moments. One of the wonderful things about Sean Tan's and John Marsden's book is that it's so universal in its themes and in its approach. I mean, it is a metaphorical landscape that we are presenting. It is um, a universal theme of any Indigenous culture that suffers the colonisation of Europeans, um, you know, and we do have things like the Stolen Generation, which was a tactic that was used all around the world to, you know, weaken a society. And uh, for me, the wonderful thing is that Sean Tan and John Marsden grab these themes and make it completely accessible for young people to be able to discuss and talk about. What, what is the experience of writing for an opera like, as opposed to what you usually do? Um, I found it enormously liberating actually to get to write from the perspective of someone else um, and for the purpose of telling a story. I think as a singer-songwriter you can really get locked inside your own brain and become really self-referential. This is what happens to me anyway, you know, I make myself miserable thinking about my own feelings all the time um, and so this was, yeah, I felt really fun. Um, and free the writing process. Absolutely musically accessible and part of this is you know introducing young people to a form of opera so and you know we've got these wonderful tones of we have opera singers we have musical theatre people um, and then we have Kate Miller Haiku who I Haiku who I kind of coin indie op um, and it's a wonderful blend and so it is it is presenting what an opera can be with this fabulous story that has huge themes in it. It's kind of a triangle uh, of different styles because we've got straight down the line opera singers who play the rabbits and their music is stylistically quite British 19th, 19th century sort of Gilbert and Sullivan-esque stuff and then the, the marsupials have a more naturalistic style of singing and they sing kind of um, interesting pop music theatre stuff and my character, the narrator, the bird, has this kind of weird alien, um, angular, otherworldly thing going on musically. But it, I think it all hangs together somehow because we're in this magical, hyper-real landscape. The It's an incredible team of, you know, between Kate and Lally Katz, Ryan Libretto and Gabriela Tilasheva. I think I've got the three kookiest women in the business and it's the most perfect, perfect fit. I really love the theatre, I love the rehearsal process. Um, I love being part of something like this and um, I, I would definitely love to do it again. Maybe a musical, I think, next time would be fun. There's always pressure, absolutely, and you know, the fact that the show's sold out completely, there's, there's always that pressure, which is wonderful for us. But I think it's, you know, when we first, when I was first talking to Opera Australia about this, and you know, Lynn was very keen to create a new work, and so with what Barking Gecko does in um, presenting new works and um, I guess a, a mixture of different artistic forms to present to young people, the synergies of those two companies was the timing was right. When 
Now they're eating